Censorship controversies on college campuses took a troubling turn this academic year. Violence at Penn State, a shout down at Cornell, where students later demanded a sweeping trigger warning policy. We do not want your ideas here. And nothing tops the group of Stanford law students who shouted down a talk by a federal judge, all with tacit approval from an administrator. I'm not a cynic to ask this. Is the juice worth the squeeze? The bravado with which students demanded censorship and seemed emboldened to silence speakers by force was new this year. These developments track recent data showing a substantial student appetite for shouting down controversial speech and, among some students, using violence to do it. But could it be that college leaders who weathered the fallout from this year's worst free speech controversies, who've had a front row seat to the campus chaos censorship causes, could they be the ones to turn the tide? We think so. It's happening. We're calling it the Stanford Effect. After the massive international headline-making controversy that erupted in March over the Stanford Law shoutdown, law school dean Jenny Martinez responded with an unwavering defense of free expression. It was a 10-page free speech tour de force, one that's sure to be quoted from for years to come. Reading defenses of free speech takes up a good chunk of our day at FIRE, and this was arguably the best one we've read in a decade. The statement was widely applauded, and Stanford's president has since been on something of a campus free speech crusade, pushing for free expression and academic freedom at every turn. Then, just a few weeks later, came the Cornell student government's trigger warning resolution, which asked Cornell to force faculty to give trigger warnings for any content without limitation that might upset students. If that strikes you as excessive and a violation of academic freedom and, frankly, downright impossible, you and Cornell's president see eye to eye. She, alongside the Cornell provost, gave that request an immediate, firm no. Learning to engage with difficult and challenging ideas, they wrote, is a core part of a university education. So Stanford and Cornell leaders both pushed back hard against two of our top three free speech controversies. What about Penn State? Thought you'd never ask. Enter Neely Bendapudi, Penn State's president and winner of the award for most comprehensive defense of free speech on campus in under five minutes. For centuries, higher education has fought against censorship and for the principle that the best way to combat speech is with more speech. To combat bad ideas is with better ideas. No hedging, no qualification, no apologies. Just straightforward support for the value most fundamental to teaching and learning, and an accurate statement of the law at an institution bound by the First Amendment. Yay, see, it can be done.